Hello and welcome to episode 24 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Folktales faction here in cycle 33, day 21. Last time, we did a whole bunch of fun stuff. We've improved a bunch of things and we've got a lot more to take care of, as I am sure you're well aware. But biggest thing we got accomplished was pull back here a little bit. We have a separate district now, which is yet to be named. We will be running a poll this week uh, to be revealed on Friday's episode. But uh, we have our District 2 for mining purposes right now, so we can get some more metal, so we can start making bots, which is hopefully something we can get into today at least a little bit and move into that type of stuff. So what's going on over here is that we've continued to expand uh, this reservoir. We're going to do maybe a little bit more work here, depending on what else we can get done. There's actually a little bit of unexploded dynamite here. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. And now we have a little bit more space for storage here. And it looks like we have just about a day and a half left on this bad tide. Should be able to see this reservoir fill back up. It hasn't been emptied that much because this was a little bit of a shorter one. But uh, we're going to want to make sure we can take as much advantage of our storage space as we possibly can. And for right now, this is about as good as we're going to get. Uh, without spending a whole bunch of time and resources blowing anything else up. So we're going to have to deal with this as it is for now. I think we're going to be fine. Our water storage is up at just about 14,000, which is plenty. And we only have 20 explosives right now, so that's not going to be uh, that viable of a thing for us to deal with. But uh, we can take a look at our farm space allocation here. We really don't need to plant any more wheat. At least not right now. We have tons of it. So... In all honesty, we probably should shrink this a little bit and maybe plant some other crops here or think about moving some of this stuff over or even up here, moving these sunflowers, for example, uh, down into this corner perhaps would be a good use of space. We have 1,300 wheat stored. We have 1,400 wheat flour stored. We have 1,500 pieces of bread and we have all sorts of other stuff. Our biggest needs are other food items like our maple trees, which we are currently planting and attempting to get uh, actually grown here. We just sacrificed half of this section of chestnuts to grow maple trees. And I believe we probably should get rid of these two and make these maple trees, uh, judging by the relative lack of maple syrup we have in storage over here. By relative lack, I mean absolute lack. We have three out of 1,200, but we do, in storage, have 555 maple pastries. And technically, that's enough for right now. So I'm not really tempted to mess with it too much. Uh, and also, we have our chestnut trees kind of grown in here. There's still a few that need to be planted in these odd individual spaces that have been uh, have been removed here. Uh, that's an oak tree. That's ready to get cut down. This is just about ready to get cut down. So what we will do is we'll just take care of this real quick. And then mark this guy and this guy for cutting. If I select the right thing, there we go. And that should be just about all of that. We do have, you see these little dots here. We do have some chestnuts ready to get gathered. And Looks like Minoc 111, if that's how that name is supposed to be read. Apologies if it's not. Uh, is over here gathering chestnuts. Got 17 out of 20. We need storage for chestnuts, raw chestnuts. We take a look over here. Uh, we pretty much just have one of these mediums. I believe that's for grilled chestnuts, sunflower seeds. Where's the regular chestnut? Okay, right here. So what I'm going to do, since we're already over here, is I'm going to put in a large warehouse right here for chestnuts and I'm going to actually remove that and replace it with a ladder so we can just have this vertical uh, good usage of space right here make sure that's set to the raw chestnuts set to supply so this will be all taken care of nice and easy route make good use of that space so if that's actually the case then guess what he says before not completing the sentence we can <laughs> we can go ahead and cut these trees down and replace them with maples as well because we're going to need a lot a lot 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 more how many times can i say a lot in quick succession without 
busting my mouth. Um, yeah, we need a lot more maple because we just have these two right here. This is empty. Oh, it actually isn't even set correctly. That might help, but I mean, there's nothing in there anyway, so maybe not. Uh, but clearly, clearly the tapper shack we got redacted over here. Uh, attempting to get some maple syrup out of the trees, but uh, there's none to give. So this will be a, uh, a thing that we'll have to keep working on throughout. Then meanwhile, up here, we also blasted most of this down. We still have this little bit right here. And I think we can go ahead and get this whole thing situated. They can walk all the way around the outside, around the outside, etc. Uh, so I can go ahead and just get rid of this. And start blowing this up just to make things sit right here. Of course, this goes in this one spot where nobody can reach it. But guess what? We have 1,100 planks, we have 6,600 logs, excuse me. So, we're just going to get rid of it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but that'll be fine. Let's put it on uh, triple turbo mode here and get this thing going. We got plenty to accomplish here. See them, see them running all over the place, trying to get rid of these trees and then putting all this stuff in. Should be, uh, should be a good time. We've got a number of things to fix in the spiral as well, although those are not exactly the highest of priorities right now. Uh, because so much of everything else needs to be taken care of first. But having this much storage accessible up here for water is good. Uh, we did finish putting in uh, these triple floodgates right here, which will allow us to fill this completely before the water gets down here. We also have to get rid of these uh, single floodgates, but that's not a huge priority right now. So when we get our large uh, incoming temperate cycle water coming up through here. I will raise this, we'll fill up here, and then we'll send some water down here. Uh, since we should, in theory, have at least seven or eight full days, we do have a pretty good amount of water still stored here. I want to make sure we have some of this up in reserve, just in case it's a drought and not a bad tide, so we can just let it out as we need it. But uh, that does bring up something we do need to discuss about the... Uh, I guess you could say good water bypass up here. If we actually want to be able to use this bypass effectively, we need to have some sort of a, I guess some sort of a channel floodgates maybe between these three rings here, because this is the exit of the good water bypass. But if we have water stored here and here, if we don't have anything to go between them, then it has to come through here. And during a bad tide, well, that's very obviously not going to be, uh, not going to be doable. So, uh, not the biggest priority right now, again, because we don't have a whole lot of explosives, but uh, we will very soon be putting in, probably right here actually would be a good spot for it, since this indentation is right there. Uh, but we'll put some bypass bypasses, I guess, <laughs> in between these, so we can just let everything out through here, which also means we are going to have to build a channel to come down here and then through this way, but... That's all stuff we can do later. Again, we don't have a lot of explosives uh, just because of the way things are set up. We'll need to make sure we take advantage of all of our space. So we do have these explosives factories here that aren't really being used. I mean, they are, but they're also not. I don't know why. They're staffed, and they can clearly get into all the stuff. I guess they're just uh, running around. Oh, oh, I know why. Because this, this is the only uh, warehouse for explosives, isn't it? Uh, okay, no, it's not. There's a second one. Allegedly. And it's all the way on the other side of the map. Yeah, okay, that's... Mm, that's something I should have fixed. But uh, that was... Because originally we did have them over here, and I guess this was the only available space. So that maybe is... not Oh yeah, the other one's right here. Yeah, I should have uh, should have fixed that a long time ago, but I didn't. So that's the reason that's a thing, I guess. But for right now, it's not really uh, not really a huge deal. It's definitely not ideal, but uh, could always be worse. Now we have 39,000 science. Sheesh. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. Go ahead and get rid of uh, two of these inventors here, and I'm just going to put in a medium warehouse right here. Four explosives. Set that as the supply, so 
these guys don't have to go all the way across the map. That should help uh, quite substantially. So, again, we, we have tons of stuff to do, but we, we also need to remember that we have 37 vacancies. 37, okay, 35 now. But we have vacancies for uh, 34. Okay, so it's improving. I guess beavers are growing up, but we got to get some more beavers. Got to get some more beavers. So that was one of the reasons I mentioned over here, possibly changing this quadrant of this farm instead of being wheat to being, uh, say, sunflowers. So we could build some more housing up here. Not that this is really a great place to build more housing. You know what I did? You know what I did? All right. All right. Jeez. What a, what a, what a stupid thing that was for me to do. Um, I set them to cut this down and then didn't tell them not to replant the, ch the chestnut trees. Okay. All right. Well, that's, um, <laughs> that was not my, uh, not my finest moment, I guess we'll just say. Uh, but this, uh, gather a flag, sorry, Kurt, you gotta go find something else to do, bud. Uh, but gather a flag and go away. These lumberjack flags can also go away. That storage for chestnuts can go away. This storage for water probably should stay. And uh, this contemplation spot, we probably could move and get a little bit more planting for our uh, spatter dock. Not that we really need it. I don't think we have 1,400 grilled spatter dock still in storage here. But we can go ahead and plant some more maple trees. But first, let's just confirm our range. All of this is in range, with the exception of this one pit right here. So that's fine. Uh, we'll plant all of these as maples, except that one. And then that'll be it. We'll get rid of our forester here, and then I believe we'll be good to go. We will have effectively, since the beginning of the series, quadrupled the amount of maple trees we're growing over here. Maybe. Maybe five times. Not entirely sure. But um, but yeah, we, uh, we just got to get them in here to do all this, and then uh, we'll figure stuff out. I'm also going to move this small tank. Uh, once I get rid of the forester, I'm going to put it in one of these spots. Or, <clears throat> you know, it might actually be smarter for me to just put a medium tank. It'll fill the same amount of space. Uh, obviously, we don't really need to have that much more water storage. But, since we have all these fluid dumps, we might as well have another tank close to uh, a couple of them. Versus having to go all the way over here, all the way up there, or over to here. Just got to get all these trees planted. And that will take uh, take a decent amount of time. So we'll, we'll leave them alone for a second, see if they can get that done. And then we'll keep on moving on to other stuff. Yeah, and since we have, we have all this wheat, I really don't need to be waiting to, uh, don't need to be waiting to harvest all this. We're just going to, just going to get rid of it. Just come demolish the wheat. <laughs> And then we can either we can either plant a bunch of sunflowers or I can just continue to explode this to make more capacity. Uh, wow, that was fast. I think there's probably a happy medium to be found here. Or we could plant part of it. So this is really not that big of a patch of sunflowers. I know I can at least right here do maybe that much and then eventually plan on getting rid of this. Oh, I should have enough, uh, should have enough explosives to actually do this right now if I wanted to. So it is day three. Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't do? That I said I was going to do at the very start of this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I prom I promise, I promise I'm smart. Sometimes. Sometimes, friends. Well, uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to flood this. Man, I just completely forgot. It's very easy to get sucked into stuff when, uh, when playing this game. As I am sure you are all painfully aware. <laughs> uh, we all have our, uh, we all have our fun things that we struggle with here. But having, uh, having some nice, nice storage up here is going to be very good. Uh, again, we don't know if we're going to get a drought or a bad tide. It's best to be prepared. No matter what the result is, you can at least rest knowing that you did your best, and that's what matters. Not to be all smarmy uh, young adult adventure novel or anything with all of that, but uh, 
I digress. We've got quite a lot of good stuff going on here. We should have... Yeah, when that gets to 2.84 or whatever it is, then these will open and let a little bit of water out. Yes, I know I could just permanently set these to 2.5 and that would solve our problems, but... But I really don't want to miss out on the entire, like, huge amount of water we could keep in here with just 0.5 of a height in addition to all of this surface area. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. And when we can have a 29-day drought or a 29-day bad tide, you better believe we're going to want to use as much of that as we can. Especially in hard mode. It is... Uh, something that could be very uh, beneficial for us to continue to have access to. So that being said, uh, I will go ahead and, oh, I can't even reach all the way. Oh, wait, yeah, I can because I have that right there. But I will, uh, I'll just go ahead and pop this out so we can have a little bit more storage that we will eventually use, yes. And then uh, we'll just deal with the other stuff as it comes. We have so much wheat it really does not matter. We could plant a, a little bit more over here, a little bit more over here, and we could also get rid of this and plant some more sunflowers there. But I uh, do think I want to put in some more housing or some other recreational things for these guys up here because they really don't have uh, that much else going on. And yes, I see the massive flooding that is occurring. Uh, this I will go ahead and set to 2.5. I know I should automate these. But I know it's it's, it's going to irritate a couple of you. <laughs> I still have not done that bit. I'm not going to. Not going to. Not yet. We got enough other stuff going on for sure. So this is ready to go here. And then we just have the one bit left right there. Well, technically. All right, goodbye. And that will more or less, quote unquote, complete this upper bit here. Uh, for the purpose of attempting to fill this entire uh, bit, I will close this second tier entrance for the water, and then we'll let this get as tall as it can. There's still plenty to come down here. This is already full. Oh, hey, we're flooding. All right, let's 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 prevent this from happening again. Wait, has this not, uh, has this not opened yet? Why? Okay, how, what, what do I have this set to? Did I, did I set the wrong one? Oh, the high threshold is at 2.98. Okay, we can't do that. We got to lower this. Let's do 2.9. Just, just 2.9. Yeah, because this is, this is already, oh no, it's not even at 2.9 and it's already flooding. Did I, did I close these? Floodgates. Okay, I probably actually just need to get rid of these double floodgates, honestly. But. Uh, we haven't haven't quite gotten there yet. Oh man, I hate, I hate it when I have to do this. Oh no, it's not going to automatically do it. All right. Um, yep, bad tide approaching, folks. Oh, can they even reach this? Yes, they can. All right. Is there any beaver in here that's going to be stupid enough to get blown up? No. All right. This is how we're going to fix our water level issue. We'll just blow this up and create some extra capacity so it can drain. And this is going to, uh, wow, that actually made it worse. Temporarily, I think. Oh, they finished all of that just like that? Very, uh, very interesting. But uh, we have too much water. Too much water. And how is this still not that high? Okay, now it says 2.97. And this has gone down to 2.5. All right. I can, I can hear you screaming, just automate the floodgates and everything will be fine. It would be nice to have that level of self-confidence if I could actually believe that were true. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, roll with that. I, I really want to avoid having this be flooded. I think the issue is it just is so close to the amount of water that we uh, probably do don't need to be having in here <sighs> all right man i just i don't want to set this to 2.5 all the time because that you're missing out on so much capacity across this entire bit although in all honesty i probably oh you know what i can do is i can just uh i can just unsynchronize one of these 
to always be lower. They don't all have to be set the same way. Because the amount of outflow through one of these is not going to be large enough to prevent this from filling up. At least for right now, that can help solve our problem. All right, uh, this is still not as full as I thought it would be. And now this isn't getting any more water coming into it. There we go. Then I'll just turn that back on. Because there's really nothing else coming in here since this is already dry. I want to get this as high as possible. Because this upper one has the most capacity, I believe, because it's consistently three blocks deep. So I wonder what's up with that. Maybe it just actually takes that much time. This is basically already full to capacity based on not having anything here. Uh, as is, well, okay, this is like half a block down, so I guess that's okay. But if we get this nice and full, then we can uh, maybe, maybe during the bad tide, depending on how long this episode goes, start putting in our uh, reroute escape tunnel, if you will. And we'll see what happens there. Plenty of other stuff to get to, though, as we've, uh, as we've mentioned. We do still need to build a lot more housing for the beavers. That was, uh, something we wanted to make sure we took care of. But one thing we could do to help alleviate that situation is to make bots. If we have the science for it, I don't know if we really have the materials. I mean, we have planks, we have gears, uh, metal is still kind of a problem. We also don't have metal storage. That was a, uh. It's kind of a dumb thing for me to do, is not put in a lot of metal storage. We just have the scrap metal storage. We've got gears right here. Uh, so yeah, I think what we want to do is to turn the back side of this into a second industrial area for the making of bots. Because the power is already here. We have these gravity batteries. And uh, this is about... Yeah, it's actually about the same height stuff, so... I think that's what we'll do, is we'll just go ahead and start uh, start building all of this up. Doesn't really need to be set up like this necessarily, but uh, we can make it work. Should be okay. And then I will blow up these as doubles. We'll need to, uh, we'll need to get power elsewhere, but that should not be a problem whatsoever. So what we'll do is we'll just have, yeah, get this unlocked. We'll make a whole bot factory area over here. And I think the power link is going to be, you might you might think this is dumb, but hear me out. Uh, I don't have to do any other, uh, any other changes here with the exception of putting in a T intersection. Well, I'll just go ahead and put a four-way just in case. But put a T intersection here, build a bot part factory here, and then have this go directly into the side of an assembler on top but we do have to get that put in place and let them do what they need to do but we have 1.2 days left before the end of our temperate cycle oh look at this it's full it's full kids <laughs> yeah we'll uh <laughs> we'll, we'll let some more water through this side just so this stops uh Stops it being so completely full. Uh, put that up to three. That's already up to three. That's up to three. And then, um, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just completely open this up. So now uh, we can have pretty much the absolute maximum amount of water stored up here, in here, and yeah, more or less in here. And then all the bad water can just go zoop, all the way down here. But uh, that is going to require me to go ahead and preemptively open this floodgate for the deluge of water coming through. And then we'll just we'll just snap it shut. That's actually draining a lot faster than I wanted it to. Uh, we'll, we'll snap it shut when the time comes. Because this is... Um... Oh, please don't kill my spatter dog. Yeah, I really need to... I really need to rethink how this is set up here. So this it doesn't completely flood everything. Well, nobody's perfect. It's just the way it goes. I probably should have these gates tied to not this. Um, wow. Okay. How is it? How is it always like this? That is astounding. Oh, you know why? You know why? It's because this is not open. 
I only have this set to open during a period of contamination. So it really, uh, it really probably should be open just about all the time. I built, uh, I built a whole lot of stuff right on the water's edge here. So to alleviate this problem for right now, um, oh, it's not going to let me do that unless I desynchronize it. I'm just going to open this and we can, uh, let the water out before it becomes too much of a problem down here. It's just up, 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 up. This is about to flood, isn't it? If I can see it coming up over here. We'll, uh, we'll keep... Mm, okay. <laughs> Alright, we, we gotta, we gotta let it out. We gotta let it out. Do not flood the hole with the bad water pumps in it. Please, I am begging you. I am begging you, do not flood that. Yeah, this is clearly a, a very flawed setup that I have going here. I don't call the spatter duck either. Well, uh, the bad tide, thankfully, thankfully, will uh, will shut the uh, floodgates on the uh, the entrance side. I just don't know how there's so much water coming through here. It didn't used to be a problem at all. I mean, I, I would like to think this isn't a detriment, but it uh, very well, very well could be. So I guess we'll just leave that. Oh, it's flooded again. Hmm. <sighs> I I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to set this. I, this makes me so mad. I thought it would work. I thought it would work perfectly well, but. Uh, uh, well, okay, no, all right. Now it doesn't matter because it's actually a bad tide. We might just need to have more floodgates. Six might not be enough. You know, somewhere somewhere in the comments, there is someone who has exhaustive and incredible knowledge of the fluid mechanics of Timberborn and is absolutely just beside themselves with rage. <laughs> How bad I am at managing this. If that's you, I want you to know that I love you and I care about you and it's okay to get help. You should not let these videos stress you out that much, but I digress. We've, <laughs> we've got so much. Oh, we got so much garbage to fix here. I th think it should even out. It should be okay now. Should, it should all be okay because there's now no longer any uh, water coming through. Um... Yeah, that should be just about perfect. 17 day bad tide if you weren't uh, watching the corner of the screen. So we will not finish this uh, bad tide in this episode most likely. But we will see what we can get done just the same. I just, I'm so paranoid about this getting filled up with water. But looks like we're going to be okay. And this, we have a magnificent amount of water stored up here. I would really love to take advantage of with a good water bypass. So we'll see if we can maybe get started with this. But I think it's more important long term for the health of our colony to go ahead and pop these uh, bot part factories in place. We'll put six of them in. I will not build all six at once. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and get this first one done. And then on top of it, build the assembler so we can have the power conducted. Because so I know we have a relatively limited amount of metal. And this one requires 15. The assembler requires 50. And then to actually make the bots is going to require that as well. And let's not forget the folktales bots also to make the chassis require the fuel, the biofuel. So we will have to make refineries. And that is going to be something... I believe is going to have to be done in the main district just because that's where all the stuff's being grown and we get to decide which recipe we're going to use. I think we figured out the most effective recipe for making this, the, uh, the biofuel is the spatter dock based on the yield that you get when harvesting because uh, the, the potatoes don't really explode in number until you have uh, grilled them. I always want to call them baked potatoes, but when, when you grill the potatoes, you get a crazy amount of grilled potatoes from, from one raw potato. Uh, but the spatter dock, when you harvest it, each plant, what is it? Is it like th gives you three of them or something? So that is, um, 
I think, based on the amount of stuff that we actually have access to, we have, we have 1,500 ungrilled spatter dock versus 391 ungrilled potatoes. So I think we're going to want to do the refinery with the uh, spatter dock. We also have the option to use the maple syrup and extract to make the catalyst, which uh, currently we cannot do because we don't have enough maple syrup. But remember, we did expand our amount of maple trees. We just have to wait 800 years for those to grow. So refineries, we are going to... Uh, place where is the spatter dock repository it's over here uh, this is a little bit far away or the biofuel but we are going to need biofuel pretty much everywhere for the bots once we start using them anyway so I don't think it's unreasonable for us to actually start making some biofuel over here and what we will do is on the back side right here we'll just pop up a couple of these. They're not powered, so they do not have to be adjacent to each other. We'll leave this uh, open as a walkway for the future. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a refinery here, refinery here. And we're going to make biofuel out of spatter dock. We can't make catalyst yet, like I just said. But that'll be fine. And on the back side of these, the reason I left this like so, is so that we can pop in and put a large tank somewhere in the vicinity depending on how we want to have this set up actually actually i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i tell you what um i don't know where that came from but uh let's go ahead and rotate 90 degrees just so these line up slightly better and we'll put our biofuel right next door and then we can do the same kind of thing. And then we'll have space in the middle here to put some other stuff. Just in case. Just in case. Gives them plenty of stuff to do. Put our triples here. And then fill the rest of that with the doubles. Etc. Etc. And yes, these take uh, metal blocks as well. There is That's also the reason why I was uh, so intent on doing this this way. If we pop that guy right there, we also, we can flip this. Ah, wrong button. Wait, what button did I just push? Was that G? How long is that? It's probably done this for years, but I, I just, I never think to use it this way. Anyway, I wanted to push F or flip. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just leave this like this. There we go. And now I've got space right here, but I can hear you saying that's where they have to walk in to get in there. But yeah, that doesn't mean we can't put something else there. It just can't be two by three. For right now, though, uh, this will be just fine, right? Like so. Uh, we could still, if we wanted, rotate these another 90 degrees. But uh, having it set this way gives us two extra spots instead of one extra spot here and here. So if we wanted to put some other storage, like small tanks perhaps for catalyst or some small uh, storages for spatter dock, although it's. Spatter dock, huge storage is right here. It's really not that far away. Uh, we could very easily do that. We could also, let's not forget, uh, put some platforms on top of this. You know what? Let's actually do that. Let's <laughs> well, let's let's be smart here. Let's do that. Let's put in uh, platforms across this entire thing, and then on the top, put a large warehouse, which we will fill with raw spatter dock. That, my friends, is a very efficient factory design, I think. And then right here, in this corner, we will put a ladder. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm pushing T, not R. There we go. That is going to be fantastic. We'll have this set to uh, set to obtain. Uh, store some biofuel. There we go. So that's going to take them, I don't know, probably a long time to actually build that, but... Uh, we can get to work over here nonetheless and get all this taken care of. So eventually this will have six part factories and I'll have the four assemblers on top. You know the drill. Same kind of deal all the way across, which we will want to, uh, of course, augment with ladders here and here just to get everything all situated like we want to see it done. And then we just have to connect through here. 
And then right now, this is technically closer to the first district by road, but uh, we are going to make this be part of the district two so it can become fully autonomous with bots. But for that to happen, we have to have adequate storage with all of the rest of this stuff. And of course, to make the bots, you have to have the chassis, you have to have the limbs, you have to have the heads, and all of these require planks. Every single one requires planks. One requires gears. And two require metal blocks and uh, biofuel. So I think just for the benefit of getting this started, at first we're gonna have this hooked up to the main district, but then it is going to move over. Otherwise, we would have to have just an unbelievable amount of stuff imported in this district. It would be a huge pain in the butt, and I don't think anyone would enjoy uh, that process of absolute chaos. But that being said, we still do have to have storage for this stuff over here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have space over here to actually place things. Uh, this is, oh, hold on, we're underground. This is elevated. So we can't use the large underground storages in this exact spot unless, unless we come in here and we build up the ground. I think that probably isn't the best idea, but it is an option that we have if we so choose. I think the easier thing to do is going to be to come in over here since this is already basically set up like that and just make a little bit of space right here for a couple of these underground piles, which of course we can't place until the land is there. But two of those right here would be able to store a lot of planks and a lot of metal blocks. And then we could just take advantage of putting in the gears in the large storages and then having a tank for the biofuel to actually make the bots. And I think that would really, really streamline how this is set up without compromising our ability to continue to build stuff on the other side of this if we so choose. So that hopefully, hopefully won't be a huge, enormous pain. <laughs> but it's one of those things that just takes time to build. It is a very long, very drawn out process. And uh, we want to make sure that we're doing our best to actually accomplish stuff. So one of the other things we're going to need to do is raise this up. We kind of been wanting to do that anyway. If you take a look at this, uh, we should in theory be using this to either store water or have an actual designed shunt away from uh, this mess so we don't have this nasty in here. So for us to do that, we're going to have to uh, slowly move this up, whether it's with the uh, terrain or if it's with bridges or platforms or whatever. Uh, it's just one of those things we had to, we just had to get it done. So we did it this way, but it's obviously not ideal. Uh, for the time being though, I will just have this connected like so, so they can still get to it. And then that should uh, hopefully not be an issue. But we will also connect. Uh, I wanted to come in from the top here, but I guess it's not really necessary. It's not really going to be that much of a distance cut off when you factor in the stairs and everything they're going to have to go up and down. I think for right now, this is fine. So let's give them a priority for this so that should take care of most of that we're still not flooded over here right good oh i didn't set this to do uh spatter dock i thought i did oh it's because i removed them that's right so now we've got four beavers in theory working over here making uh some biofuel for our bots that we don't yet have but we will sometime soon hopefully maybe yeah we're really going to need more metal production that's one of those things that just kind of uh, can't come fast enough the way this is all set up. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, I can't, I can't get rid of this because that's going to get rid of power all the way over here. Man, I did not set, I did not set this up in a good way at all. We got tons of planks. I don't think we really need to be worried about plank manufacturing. Uh, but what I can do is I can kind of reconfigure how this is set up uh, to be a little bit uh, easier to work with here. I don't think we need to have five wood workshops, even though we only have, uh, we only have 389. I don't know. I really, I guess I shouldn't get rid of them. 
it just, mm, I am very dissatisfied with, with this mess. But I, I think we can, we can only reliably, reliably and satisfactorily complete one major project per episode, uh, as many of you suggested. <laughs> so I, I guess we can leave that for another time, but we do, no matter what, we have to have more metal blocks. It just is not, uh, it's not working in our favor currently. So what are the resources to make one of these? Do we have, oh, we barely, we barely have enough scrap metal, but we need to. So I'm going to possibly at great detriment, uh, just get rid of this and have them, uh, have them clear the way here. Oh, they already did that. Uh, blow this up so I can put one more of these uh, metal refineries in here, smelters. I don't know how I can't remember what the game calls these buildings. <laughs> as much as much Timberborn as I have played over the past couple of years seems kind of unthinkable that I couldn't remember what the stinking stuff is called. But I digress. There we go. We'll get that built. They should have no problem getting that finished quickly. And then we can move on with our lives. And I can slowly, slowly start uh, replacing some of these with more smelters as well. Should not be an issue. We just need to make sure we have enough ready to go. So these still are not connected because they haven't been able to uh, get there because the platforms aren't built yet. That's stuff that takes time. We don't need to get mad about it. So while they are working on that, let's come up here. Because I know there there's at least like one or two of you that have been... I'm not going to say like yelling at me to do this because that has a negative connotation, but w w we shall say you've been enthusiastic about the, the possibility of me having this bypass here. So uh, we will uh, lend an ear to you in this moment and we will go ahead and get started. Now this is a three, a three block deep coming in on this side. It's the same height. This is one block lower, although I don't anticipate we will ever need the full three block height to uh, do stuff, especially if it's going down. So uh, what I will go ahead and do is I will blast, I will blast all of these three blocks deep just because, uh, well, it probably needs to be that deep anyway, but uh, just know that's not necessarily the way it has to be. That's just the way we're doing it. So we'll just come in here. I think three wide should be enough. I know this is only two wide down here. But uh, we'll give it a shot. If we have to make it bigger, we can. Not opposed to that. We'll just make this nice and full here. And I will, for the sake of uh, just making this look nice, put a little bit of a... Uh, what? I don't, I don't know what the actual term is, but for lack of a better term, some sort of a wall here. There's probably some sort of civil engineering drainage term. Uh, RCE would probably know what it was called, considering that's what he used to do for fun. Or not for fun, for money, which I guess is fun. Uh, that's going to be done there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead, since we have multiple ways of getting across here, we can go ahead and do this as well. I had forgotten that we had so many explosives. No, I did not know that was a... Uh, did not know that was something we had accomplished. That's good. So that's going to be here as well. Now we have to be careful when we detonate this because that means all that water is going to go away. So you know what? Actually, I'm going to set that off ahead of time because that means we can build everything else. We can build everything else and then detonate this. And we can put the floodgates in the middle here and just have this be uh, still completely straight across. That, that is going to be smart, friends. <laughs> sometimes I'm intelligent. Sometimes. Gotta give me uh gotta give me credit where it's due. So we'll uh we'll put that there and we'll put uh I guess this right here will be fine. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah uh, yes. I think I can go ahead and set that off. Oh no, they can't re <laughs> oh, that's a, uh, hmm. That's a blunder. <laughs> this is what that is. 
Let's uh, just just for the sake of uh, being able to place this one bit of dynamite, let's let's leave that as it is. Oh, that is. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's let's go do something else for a little bit here, so I don't uh, I don't feel so stupid. All right, now uh, put that guy there. Oh, I got to make sure that doesn't get built, so they can actually put this in. Uh, but we'll uh, get this configured there. Yep, that's going to work out just fine. Well, I guess now I don't have to worry about this getting finished. But, uh... Oh, I did have this set to chassis. Okay. And they're actually getting biofuel from... Wow, we already made 1,100? How fast are these guys working? Wow, I did, I did not think it was that fast. All right. Wow, three hours, they make 25. Okay, that's probably, uh... That's probably why... So, yeah, we need to make a, uh, a tank over here for sure. So I just have to decide where that's going to go. Mm, I probably didn't do myself any favors setting this up right here. I probably should have pushed this back one more block, but I had these... Uh... You know what? Oh, man, it's so close to being done. <laughs> you know what we're about to do. You know what we're about to do. See, this really, this really shouldn't matter because this is, it's just, this just goes to an observatory. I don't know why I get so attached to this stuff. But um, yeah, there's no rules. We can do what we want. <laughs> well, I guess there's one rule, and that's have fun, which we usually do. All right, do I have enough metal blocks to... Uh, okay, yeah. I just want to... Uh, I just want to actually have this up and running before it's too late to uh, actually do anything with it. Right, uh, that's good to go. Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's such a drag. That Oh, that's such a huge pain. All right. Man. I hate it when I'm wrong. <laughs> that's that's garbage, man. That's so uh, that's so Yeah. That's uh yep. <laughs> I, I got I got nothing. Alright, so we're gonna blow that up and I'm just gonna put in our regular platforms there to go across. Blow this up. And you guessed it, triple platforms to go all the way across. And that's gonna allow us to actually divert water. Well not really divert, but so much let it out through here. And then around the outside, around the outside, etc. And then we can have this open if we so choose. And then uh, let that water out here. Now looking at the runtime, we're approaching the uh, 50 minute mark currently on the recording. It's probably, I don't know, about 45 minutes into the, uh, the video because I do have to cut out the load time in the beginning. So I don't think we're going to be able to do any terraforming or any messing around down here in this specific episode. But... Uh, it is on the docket. I just really, really wanted to get metal and stuff operating up here. So this is making the chassis, this is going to make the limbs, and this is going to make the heads. So now that this is done, let's go ahead and uh, complicate things needlessly by putting this in the way that it is supposed to be. And I think... I think we'll be able to get the rest of this in place just fine but yeah I really wanted I really wanted that extra space around the outside so we could uh, still build stuff in the middle here so what I will do is I will get this done right here I'm gonna put right here the biofuel set that to an obtain nope I set catalyst that needs to be biofuel there we go that'll be fine here and I guess I'll put metal blocks there set to obtain and then the uh, planks will go right there. Now they're coming over here in droves to take care of the rest of this. Blow that up. And put that in there. And then that's going to be good. And then I can put this in here. Set that to planks. I know this doesn't perfectly line up. It's okay. We're going to survive. I just wanted to make sure that we had... Uh... Okay, good. I did leave this space for the thing. Wanted to make sure we had some sort of accessibility over here that wasn't completely ridiculous. All right, so that's looking okay. Uh, I will go ahead, even though we can't technically assemble any bots yet, I will go ahead and put a uh, 
Actually, no, I won't, because we only have 47 blocks of metal. I need those to actually make the bot parts. Uh, gears are going to go stored right in the other side of this. And that is, that's why I moved these over, so I could have these directly aligned. That's just fine the way things are. Going to look, hopefully, much better once we have all of the uh, all of the stuff working correctly over there. Everything seems to be working perfectly well. All right, now that's taken care of. Um, I don't really have any reason to get rid of this ladder, so I guess we'll leave it there for convenience sake. But now, now if we so choose, we can let water out of here. Then it can go here, and then it can come down this way, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, probably also should put another set of floodgates here to completely cut it off if we were to use these. Um, oh, you know what? Since I left these here, guess what? We can use them to build another set of floodgates. That is going to be fantastic here. That's actually, uh, it's actually too high. T-O-O -O high, so we will build them T-W-O high. Isn't the English language fantastic and terrifying all at the same time? I know we've got a lot of people in the audience whose first language is not English. And I have massive respect to you for being able to learn this mess of a language and speak it in some ways better than a lot of native native English speakers. I don't know, I've never never really been that great at foreign languages. Took German in high school. Uh, and then uh, in the process of relearning that and some Japanese as well. And I'm just very, very, very shocked at how difficult it truly is to learn how to uh, speak and read other languages that use completely different grammatical and writing systems. Anyway, this will be nice uh, to just make sure everything can get diverted smoothly and cleanly. And I think that is going to be off to a very good start once we get all that stuff set up. Yeah, the amount of uh, amount of water we have stored up here is looking good. Uh, Bot-wise, we're actually halfway to our first bot. That's exciting. I did not think it would come that fast. But man, we are just, we're making a ton, a ton of biofuel. There's an unbelievable amount of biofuel. So what we will do when we get our bots, the very first thing we're going to automate is the bot process itself, like we always like to do, because uh, that is, I believe, one of the highest uh, injury rate, uh, buildings with the highest rate of injury. I, yeah, here I am talking about how much respect I have for people who learn English as a second language, and I can't even speak it myself, but I've been speaking it for 32 years. That's fine. We, uh, we'll, we'll just move on from that. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll get the bots in these assemblers in these factories ASAP so they can take care of that and we can minimize beaver injuries because now we have 15, 15 injured beavers. And that quite obviously is not ideal. The other good thing about having the bots work this is they can use the same biofuel to fuel themselves that they use to construct additional copies of themselves and the bio beavers, not to be confused with the biofuel bot fueled beaver bots, say that one five times fast, uh, won't have to come all the way over from their homes to the other side of the map to take care of this. It's just, it's a win-win no matter what. And actually in that case, we probably don't even need to have this in the, uh, the other district, but uh, we probably will end up doing it eventually anyway, just because you know, why not? Might as well. So I guess now we got to keep our eye right here. We got uh, our very first beard bot in this playthrough coming out right now. There we go. So I have to scroll all the way down, don't I? Beard bot one. Where are you going, bud? You're unemployed. Yes, you absolutely are. Oh, you're just hanging out at the district center. That's right, because that's what you guys like to do. So guess what? You're going to get put to work immediately in the factory in which you were born doomed to toil the rest of your mechanized life to create copies of yourself. You know, it would be very interesting if Timberborn ever had a uh, an uprising of the machines. It could be a, could be a very interesting uh, game mode where the, uh, the bio beavers are heavily incentivized to automate things for their own benefit and then, then the machines take over and then, hmm, my, how the tables have turned. 
anyway, so they're they're making bots now, and stuff is looking very very good. We've got gears. We've got okay. Well, there's not a lot of planks. I need to set those to be obtained. Metal blocks. Uh, they're making it as fast as they can, which admittedly right now is not very fast. Because this needs scrap metal that it can't get because we're using the scrap metal to make more metal. So I guess we can prioritize that and get that built. And then we'll have two more because that was uh, connected there. But we did, we did start the process of the bypass here. And I think this is going to work out quite nicely. Should have a... A lot of great use for this when droughts uh, get to the 30-day stage again when they're not bad tides, or even just bad tides, when we have uh, enough water and stuff stored up here. But that will be something we get to later. Yes, I know we could have made these three blocks tall, but uh, they can't store any higher than that right now anyway, unless we were to raise the, uh, the height of this ring here. So for now, that is what it is. And then next time, don't let me forget to uh, come over here and build the actual quote unquote bypass part down here to go into this reservoir and everything will be fantastic. And I think we'll be in very good shape there. So we have, uh, should at this point, oh, uh, because it's, it's just him working by himself, or I guess bots aren't specifically gendered. We're just defaulted to assume it's male for whatever reason, but, um, I guess that's going to take a little bit longer <laughs> because it's just the one bot. But we'll see it working around the clock because bots don't have to go to sleep. And then they'll have a buddy. And then we'll have two in the bot assembler. And then it'll just keep going and going and going and going forever and ever and ever, and at least until the bots uh, fall apart because they wear out. And then the bio beavers won't have to worry about it. But I think that's pretty much a good spot to go ahead and end for today. Got some good stuff done. Made some nice, small improvements. Have a lot of water able to be stored up here. That eventually, yes, I will attempt to automate. Currently, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out, though. But this is all looking quite good. And I am excited to see where we go as we enter the end game of this playthrough. And then whatever's going to come next after that. But once we get everything automated and make a couple of other... Uh, improvements, build some stuff. I think we'll be able to wrap this one up. Uh, what is this episode 24? I think I said, well, I hope that's what I said because that's what I have written down. But, um, we probably realistically only have another less than 10 episodes left of this. I, I generally try to keep these series between 30 and 35 episodes. Seems to be about the sweet spot. And, uh, We'll see what we can get done before this one comes to a close. But I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for watching these videos. Thanks to the Beard Boosters as well for their support, making it possible for me to continue doing this, providing a little bit of stability and uh, helping keep the garbage sponsorship integrations out of these videos because you guys don't want to see them. I don't want to do them. And uh, we can enjoy being a community that makes that kind of thing possible. So very thankful for those folks and for you as well. And if you're not part of that, I'm glad you're here. Glad we get to spend a little bit of time together. And I can't wait to see you again in the next video tomorrow. Of course, will be Prison Architect. And then in Thursday, we'll be back in Thursday on Thursday. Uh, speaking of English uh, on Thursday, we'll be back in the Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough, making some good progress there. And then Friday, right back here. Saturday, I'm not entirely sure. The Soviet uh, Workers and Resources, uh, whatever that game's called, the, the second uh, second campaign video on that was definitively the worst, like whatever analytics video I've done in two or three years. I don't I don't know why that was the case. I don't, a lot of people were excited for it. I, whatever reason, it was just abysmal performance. I don't know if that means you guys didn't like it or you didn't see it, or the timing was bad or something. So if you do like that series, please do please do go watch that video and let me know in the comments of that one that you want to see more, more of that because uh, as it stands right now, I probably won't ever put that up on the channel again uh, just because that would destroy the algorithm, which is unfortunate. Uh, it just, for whatever reason, did not do well and it's tanking the stats and you have to play the game on YouTube. It's very unfortunate. I, I like the game. I think it's a lot of fun. But uh, it just, sometimes stuff just doesn't work and you, unfortunately you're kind of beholden to it. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, 
Regardless, these videos always do great with, with the beavers. So uh, thanks for the support, and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.